it, just, it seems like a daunting task what you've set out to do and what you've accomplished. And you're a, you're a single mother, so you've made some sacrifices, even moving back in with your parents, if you yes. could tell us a little bit about uh, yeah. what you've been through. Living with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, the sacrifices Good and the bad. challenges. <laughs> um, we know you love your parents. Oh, yeah. Man, they're amazing. Um, yeah, so I sort of found myself in this work accidentally. And when I realized I wanted to commit myself to it, I made quite a bit of sacrifices. I worked for a couple of years for free. I was a lawyer, and I ditched all that, and I set myself to figuring out how to do this work the right way after the first trip to Kenya doing the first water system, which, by the way, was completely reckless and irresponsible. And we wow. did the first water well, because I didn't know what I was doing. We got very, very lucky. So for whatever reason, we got lucky, and here I am today. But I did. I, I sold a house, and I sold a car. That was before I had a kid. Yeah. Um, and I was, I was getting a vibe, but then I had my beautiful daughter, Violet, and, and then I needed to move back in with my parents so I could keep doing this work and make sure that she was <laughs> mm. getting um, all the love and nurture and support that if, she needed to. If you could say briefly, just why, though? Why, why do all of this? Because it's a, it's a really, really good thing to do. I, I'm, you know, I don't know why I ended up where I am, but I'm mm -hmm. so grateful every single day. And, and I did end up in Kenya in January 2010 doing that water system. And being there during that time changed my life. And I have never, I haven't spent a single day wishing that it had gone otherwise. And if we could ask you just about the cost, you know, it's, it costs about $10 per person for 20 to 30 years to provide them with clean drinking water. You've already done more than 30 wells. What are your future goals? I mean, already you've accomplished so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, we want to do more work. We want to get better. So we have, um, we, have a, we, we keep our eyes focused on technology and the te technological advancements. We see lots and lots of... Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it, just gimmicks that come through that are uh, you know, purporting to solve the water crisis, which are, n are not necessarily going to be good for the work. But there are things like solar power um, and different kinds of pumps, which are really kind of changing the way that our work is done. So we think that in the, in the years going forward, this work will get more cost effective. So I think we can do exponentially more work as we, as we go forward. But we have this great project model. And so we just we want to keep going. We want to do more.